Today I want to talk about why walls and groups, not just organization, need purpose. So first of all, I hope that you all agree that organization without purpose today, it's probably an organization that's going backward and going to disappear. Without a clear purpose today, it's pretty hard to convince people to do something together and to reach common goals. So I think it's pretty obvious now that each and every organization should have a purpose, not necessarily they do have a purpose, like I worked for several that didn't. Well, just to make sure that we're on the same page, having a purpose of making money to the owner or to the stakeholder, that's not a purpose. But I think it's pretty obvious that every organization should have a purpose. Now, if an organization have a purpose, the only way to distill in people's mind this purpose is by slicing this purpose to smaller and smaller purposes that directly related or derived from the main company purpose but assigned to a group within the organization or to a role within the organization. If we manage to do that, if you manage to take a big purpose and slice and dice it to smaller and smaller purpose and assign it to groups and assign it to people, now you are making sure that everyone work on something that is at least related and derived from the main purpose. And if this is the case, you have all the people in your organization working towards the same purpose. If you want to do that, each and every group might have their own purpose. And when groups and divisions start to have their own purpose, it's kind to be con it started to be contradicted sometimes to the company purpose. And then, a surprise, we can't reach our purpose. Sure you can't reach your purpose. Because if each and every division, if each and every group, if each and every individual of their own unique purpose, why on earth they should do something to reach the company purpose? I hope that you got me. Thanks. Mm -hmm.